Hello friends, welcome back to tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how we can represent a boolean function as a sum of min terms. Now look at this truth table of a boolean function f1. Now we have to represent this boolean function f1 as the sum of min terms. So first of all we will check what combination of values of its uh, binary variable that is x, y and z its value is 1. Now these are the rows uh, for which the value of this function f1 is 1 that is 0, 1, 1 when the value of x is 0, y is 1 and z is 1 then this function is 1. When x is 1, y is 0 and z is 1, then also the value of this function is 1. When x is 1, y is 1 and z is 0, then also the value of this function is 1. Now when this uh, is uh, x is 1, y is 1 and z is also 1, then also the value of function f1 is one. Now these are the four combinations of values of x and y and z, right? For which this function gives the output one. Now consider this number zero one one, right? It's its a decimal value is 3 right now let's find the main term which is associated with this binary number then it would be m subscript 3 because the decimal value of this binary number is 3 now first bit of this uh, number will correspond to binary variable x second bit will correspond to binary variable y and third bit will correspond to binary variable z now first bit is zero so x will exist in its complement form now the bit which corresponds to y is 1. So y will exist in its normal form. The bit which corresponds to z is 1. So z will exist in its normal form. Similarly, the value of uh, decimal value of this binary number, right, is 5. So the main term corresponding to this binary number would be M5, right? Decimal value of this row or, or we can say of this binary number is 6. So the main term corresponding to this binary number is M6. Decimal value of this binary number is 7. So main term will be M subscript 7. Now we have found the main terms right for those uh, combinations of x y and z for those combinations of values of x y and z for which the function gives the output 1 now the function can be represented as the sum of these min terms so in other words this function f1 can be written as m3 plus m5 plus m6 plus m7 here as we already know that plus is an or operator m3 would be x0 yz and m5 would be x y0 z 
m6 would be x y z naught and m7 would be x y z right so what we have to do first of all find the combination of values of binary variables for which the function gives the output one then find the min terms which are associated with the binary number which is formed by the values of these variables right and then combine these min terms by or operator so in shorthand this function f1 can be written as f1 xyz in bracket we have written xyz equals to sigma 3567 now this sigma represents that the function exists as the sum of min terms right 3567 are the subscripts of min term and x y and z it represents the order It represents the order of binary variables in min term. It represents that first binary variable of the min term would be x. Second binary variable of the min term would be y. And the third variable that is the rightmost variable of the main term would be set right now the variable can exist either in its normal form or in its complement form now suppose we have to represent this function in its complement form so what will we do first we will select those combinations of first we will select those combinations of values of binary variables involved in this function f1 that is x y and z which gives the output means for which values the function will give the output 0 right now for these values that is this one this one this one and this one this function f1 will give the value 0 now write the min term for these values now this min term uh, sorry this binary number has decimal value 0 right which is formed of the values of these uh, binary variables x y and z so the min term would be m0 this binary number which is formed of the values of binary variables x, y and z has decimal value 1. So the main term corresponding to this binary number would be m1 and the main term corresponding to this binary number would be m2 and main term corresponding to this binary number would be m4. Now combine all these main terms by our operator. When we combine this, uh, these all main terms by our operator, then that expression would be equal to the complement of function f1, right? Now we can also represent the complement of this function in shorthand. That is sigma. Sigma represents that the function will be as a sum of min terms 0 1 2 and 4 are the subscripts of min terms whose sum right whose sum forms the function now x y and z represents the order of variables in the min terms now we can form if we have n variables we can form two raised bar and different min terms by these variables. Now, in uh, 
as uh, we can represent the function as a sum of min terms so there are two options for a min term it can either exist in the function or it doesn't exist in that function so the total number of boolean functions that can be formed of n variables are 2 raised to power number of min terms that is 2 raised to power 2 raised to power n so if there are n binary variables we can form 2 raised to power 2 raised to power n different boolean function thank you very much